back to the Silicon Nubian YouTube channel where we do all things tech. Today we have our first of ever actually, I believe, unboxing video. We're very sort of excited about what we're doing today. Uh, a little background, uh, in my home office, um, there's a number of computers there and throughout the home there are a mix of home theater PCs, tablets, cell phones, uh, laptops, and uh, all of them have access to a centralized storage location on a server that I've built. Uh, this server runs FreeNAS, a very capable, excellent actually, a software that can turn uh, pretty much any machine with a good amount of storage into a network attached storage device, extensible of course to do other things through the use of plugins. And uh, this is a BSD Unix based, extremely stable, uh, very well maintained and it's been doing very well for the last few years. That being said, we wanted to simplify things a bit and um, wanted to invest in a ready-made network attached storage device. Many companies were considered, uh, QNAP, Synology, Asus Store, Netgear, um, a few others. Uh, but in the end, we chose this device. Brand new on the market, Synology DS216J dual bay uh, NAS storage device. What this does is what they all do, but why we chose this? And uh, first and foremost, I have to put out a disclaimer. It was very close, folks. Um, we definitely probably could have been happy with uh, our top two or three choices. Uh, but Synology had just released this. Uh, I'm not one who jumps on new products immediately. I like to see how they do. But this I jumped on because it's an evolutionary product, not a revolutionary product. Synology hasn't gone out. And, and try to reinvent the wheel. What they've done is they've gone from the 214 series, 216 series, to sorry, 214 to the 215, now the 216 series, and it's a definite evolution um, in, in, uh, as opposed to a revolution. Uh, the star of the show is their DSM uh, software, uh, their system software that runs on their NAS uh, boxes. Uh, all their NASs run the same software. Uh, the difference is in specifications and uh, certain capabilities. Uh, this NAS is the lower end, the budget end of the 216 range, still an extremely capable device, dual core, CPU. We'll get into all of that in our next video where we actually discuss uh, more in depth uh, this NAS box, show how to put drives in and show the uh, setup and how to use it. What we've done here is we've gone to this one because we didn't need to uh, go upscale in, for example, the DS16, DS216 Play or any uh, of those. Uh, main difference being uh, maybe slightly more RAM, I'm not too sure, but a definitely a much more powerful CPU. The CPU that's in here is more than capable enough to, um, in real world conditions, to uh, serve files all around the house and the office. Uh, in a very good fashion, so we're happy with that. It still runs the same software as the, the, the bigger boys in the line. Uh, limitations might be in the number of plugins you want to run concurrently and some of the other plugins. For example, uh, Plex, you wouldn't want this to be used for transcoding, which some people do. We have dedicated home theater PCs all over the house. We don't need to have a uh, centralized uh, place for transcoding videos, so we don't have that issue. Uh, this is uh, going to be strictly uh, storage and we'll probably dig into a few of the plugins in particular since the latest release I believe it's 6.0 of their system software uh, has been released at this time or is on the cusp of being released as I record this so let's open this up and see what's in in the box once again it hasn't been out that long I think this particular model has been out just came out just after New Year's or whatever. I can't remember exactly when, but it's uh, it's their newest model. Let's go. Nondescript brown box. Typical of Synology products in this price range. As soon as we open the box, we see the uh, NAS inside. I don't know if you can see. You see the Synology symbol is across the it. Very well packaged. Let's take out the NAS first and take a look at it, shall we?
nondescript. Reminds me of a toaster. Reminds me of a toaster. Much more powerful than a toaster. So here we have, as we take it out, here we have the DS216J. It looks exactly like the DS215J or even the DS214J. Dual bay NAS. I believe the maximum capacity that the, of the drives that this can handle are eight terabyte each. Um, someone can correct me on that if I'm mistaken. Uh, it's a very nice looking box. Uh, they've stuck with the form factor. All the improvements are done on the board inside and of course the software. So this is, as far as I know, uh, with respect to the DS216J series, the J series, this is the latest revision. Um, very simplistic looking box. Actually, very good looking. It's not, uh, generally some people will have a NAS box and just stick it in their closet or somewhere else, but this would look very good on a desk. Uh, my understanding from the reviews I've read and also experiences with uh, people, uh, I know a few people have the 14 series and one with the 15 series in that uh, if you choose your drives carefully, it's uh, very quiet. Uh, I like how this Synology symbol is deeply engraved into the side. It also acts as a vent for airflow. If you look closely, it goes right through. Uh, that's good. Uh, one of the big differences with this series is uh, consumer-based NAS boxes. Some of them have USB ports. Some of them have them on the front. This does not. But what Synology has done with this in the latest revision, the 216 series, is they've completely eschewed the USB 2.0 port and now have two USB 3.0 ports next to the gigabit ethernet port and the power adapter. And of course, there's a very quiet, what looks to be a 92 millimeter fan, I could be wrong, uh, either 80 or 92 millimeter fan that they have back there for more airflow. And that's it, that's what you have. That's the NAS itself. What else comes in the box? Let's look. We have an ethernet cable. We have a extension cable, a power cable, interesting. And here we have the power adapter, quite hefty, actually. Size-wise relative, if you look at it that way, this is actually heavier than the NAS box if you look at the relative size of it. It's a EDAC power electric uh, power adapter. If weight is any indication, it's uh, pretty hefty, seems very well constructed. Uh, this, of course, is necessary as these devices are pretty much designed to be on 24-7. We have the welcome quick start manual. It's all using pictograms, basically. Pictures. Also, that tells you how to access your first access once it's on the network. Uh, a lot of us in who get exposed to um, tech on a fairly fairly often, I should say, or a fairly frequent basis, we tend not to read instruction manuals. Now, I'm one of those people, and I gotta tell you, it's a mistake. Uh, I think that um, it's you do yourself a disservice by not at, at least not skimming over um, the quick start guide. In particular, uh, when a product is brand new, there might be some minor uh, differences to the last generation, for example, that would actually uh, lead to major differences in how things are done. So uh, minor revisions in the device that would lead to major differences in how it's done. But this one looks fairly like all the other ones that I've dealt with. And we also have, we have tons of mounting screws. And other screws. So that's all there is in the box. Uh, quite a simple, I don't see anything else. No, there's nothing. There's no CD or DVD or anything like that. The quick start guide, it's quite simple. Uh, there's definitely a learning curve if you've never used any of these before. Uh, but I gotta tell you, and we're gonna have a video on that as well. We're gonna talk about backup solutions. This is something that I find is critical. Uh, right now in the office, I have two laptops that both have failed hard drives, one of which I can't, uh, we can't recover any of the data as the drive is trashed. 
um, and the people are not willing to pay for professional data recovery, you know, white room services, so uh, which can get very expensive. And the other one, I think we can recover about 80% of the data off of that one. Um, people, the cost of something like this, or even an external hard drive, or even a second hard drive in your system set up where things can get copied over on a regular basis, synced and whatnot, is much less than the value of the data and information that you have. Okay, think about it that way. Think about all your music, your videos, your family memories are in their pictures uh, think of how much that's worth uh, there's no value on it because it's priceless and one of these devices uh, set up on your network uh, with the appropriate software set up on your different computers in the house or even your tablet or whatnot to back up you'll always have the peace of mind knowing that there's a second copy at least of everything that you put on and uh, this device will allow you to run in different modes for example, RAID mode, but we'll get all into all of that later when we actually uh, spend time uh, installing the drives in this. Um, if I haven't mentioned it already, we have two three terabyte Western Digital Caviar Reds that are going into this into this uh, NAS, and we're very excited about getting this set up and getting this underway. Uh, one thing about NAS devices like this is once you set them up and you get them working exactly how you want. It gets kind of boring because they kind of disappear and that's the good thing about it that's a good thing okay they just sit there doing their job day after day and that's the video that's the unboxing so hopefully uh, we'll have another video out soon uh, showing the setup of this device and uh, detailing um, some more critical or crucial aspects with respect to backing up your data and uh, we thank you for uh, coming and watching this. Once again, there are a number of companies on the market that we could have purchased. There is QNAP, Asus Store, Netgear. Uh, there's a number of them. And all of them make fantastic devices. In fact, I'd probably be happy with any one per se. My decision making was based on previous experience with uh, the Synology devices. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I'd be happy with others. So I'm not saying that this is the best out there it is probably in my opinion one of if not the best out there uh, based on in particular their software their hardware is solid the software uh, is absolutely fantastic and uh, I just found out that um, the latest version of the system software and yes the NAS does run on system software it's on operating system is available now I believe 6.0 or will be available um, very shortly as of the recording of this video so give me a thumbs up if you like the unboxing uh, if you want have some comments you want to see some stuff in the future or you just want to give us a little bit of uh, give us a little boost there some encouragement we'd be happy to hear from you and uh, we'll see you soon take care